Look at this question. Let's read. Sally Hilay, a marketing executive, works from Monday to Friday from 7 o'clock to 15 o'clock at Johannesburg Zoo, where she promotes the Jobbeck Zoo. A salary advice for the month of July 2024 is displayed below. Now let's check at this salary advice. We see the logo there of Johannesburg Zoo. Address JHB Zoo. Uh, John Smith Avenue, Park View, Johannesburg. And then employment date is 28. The pay period is 2024-07-31. Work days, we have 26 days. The employee's name is indicated. The ID number is also indicated to say that it's 9206-30-499-8076. At the position, Marketing Executive Department is the Department of Marketing. And then the income, this person received the basic salary of 18000 traveling allowance of 2500 Housing rental allowance of 3,000, meal allowance of 2,100, then the gross is 26,100 rents. The gross is the combination of these incomes, adding from 18,500 up to 2,100, equated to 26,100. Then we also have deduction on this person's salary. Uh, if you look at the deduction that we have here, we have a provided fund, which is 1,200. We have pay as you earn is type of tax of 2,186 and 78 cent. We have a medical aid of 1,390. Then total deduction is A, if they can ask you to ask to answer this question, you just have to add the three above amount to find the value of A. B is the net salary. We know that net salary is equals to gross income minus total deduction. If they can ask you to calculate the net salary here or the alphabet B, you're just going to say gross, which is 26,100 minus the value of a which you will need to calculate first so let's look at the first question define the term gross income in the contest so we know what is a gross income we said gross income is the income before deduction gross income is the income before deduction but using the contest that we have here we are just going to say gross income is the income Sally receive from Johannesburg Zoo before deduction. We're gonna say is the income Sally receive. from Johannesburg Zoo from Johannesburg Zoo before deduction and then we have used the contest to answer this question 1.1.2 uh, write down the gross income amount in words so if you look at our statement we can see that our gross income is written 26,100 so we must write 26,100 in words which is 20 
six thousand. Twenty-six thousand one hundred rents. Twenty-six thousand one hundred rents. Two. Then one point one point three. One point one point three. The questions say provide the month in which the salary advice was issued. It was issued on. Uh, July so it was issued on the month of July and then 1.1.4 uh, determine the missing value A and B we talked about this A we said is the total deduction total deduction we just have to add the three amount which is the provident fund of 1200 plus the pay as you n which is 2186 rents and 78 cents plus the medical aid which is 1319 then when we add everything together using our calculator is 1200 plus 2186 and 78 cents plus 1390 i find 4776 and 78 cent that is the value of a then the value of b if we check here the b they want us to is the net salary and we know that net salary is going to be a gross income minus total deduction and our gross we already have a gross here is 21,000 is 26,000 I mean 26,100 minus total deduction we just calculated the value of a we say the value of A is 4,776 and 78 cent is going to be our total deduction. And then our answer is going to be 26,000, 26,100 minus 4,776 and 78 cent. We find that the difference between the two is 21,000. 323 and 22 cents. It's the answer for the value of B. And then the next question 1.1.5. 1.1.5 uh, determine Sally's age in years and months on the date that she received this payment. So, what do we need to do? We go to the ID. We see that the age, we're going to find it using the ID and the date of payment. So we're going to say 2024 minus 1992. Where do we get 1992 from? From the ID because the ID start, start by 920630. The 92 there, it means 1992. So we're going to say 2024 minus 1992 we see that the age is 32 years now let's look at the month she was born on june and she have received the payment on july so it's gonna be 32 years and one month and then 1.1.6 write down the term p a y e in full we all know this is pay s u n pay as you n so this is how you we answer this question 
uh, if there's a question leave your question in the comment section i will attend to your question and please don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe don't forget to suggest this youtube channel to anyone who's doing meds lit i believe this will assist you thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next video